So I'm, I'm going to read a last thing here, and then I'll have you comment here. All I Unless you say, want to say something first yes. before I do this. Go ahead. Yes. Evil. Evil. No, it is. Plain and simple. No, it absolutely is. It's... Every ancient civilization, in every text, the civilizations that had written language, have outlined abortion as being evil. How are we any different? You know, we, you have a lot of lefty loonies who are like, Hey, man, the ancient Aztecs, man, they, they had some wisdom, man. And like the ancient Egyptians, they had wisdom. Those Hebrews out in the desert and the Chinese, man, with their herbs, they all knew shit, man. They <laughs> their did. Herbs. Their herbs, man. <laughs> they had lots of good herbs back then. And they were powerful, too. But they had <laughs> wisdom, man. With authority there. They had wisdom, man. And, and you know, and, and, wait, what did they write about abortion? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. They were narrow-minded. Yeah, man. They didn't know. They were like conservative crackers, Yeah, man. man. They, those <laughs> yeah. Chinese, they were yeah. white, too, with that straight hair. Yeah. And those Egyptians, they were white, too. Have you seen those pictures of the Egyptians? They look like... Bunch of crackers! Man. Bunch of crackers! They're, they're the privileged, man. Yeah, man. I Abortion. hate myself. Abor There's nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah, I mean, that's just killing unborn life inside a, a woman's it's womb. It's like cutting off womb. your finger if you cho so chose to. You could do that, right? Oh, wait, you can't. Yeah, you can. You can? You can cut off your finger if you so chose yeah, but you'd be hospitalized. But it goes back, so it's okay. <laughs> hey, if you smoke that hey. stuff from China, man. <laughs> yeah! Anything man. you want on Yeah, man. That stuff goes back, man. So I'm going to read uh, my, my closing my, thing on this, and then I'll have you. My point, though, was that. Oh, you have a point. People are selective about what they choose through history. And abortions were rampant through the ancient world. But even the ancient civilizations recognized how evil it was because they actually called it out in their holy texts from every civilization around the world. Please proceed. In a volunteerist world, the morality of a people must come from a free will volition, whether the morality is formed by an external ideal or a pragmatic assessment centered around the subjective desire. Without the state to protect a morality that stands squarely against a people group, without the state to coercively enforce a morality of a people group, ideas and actions must rise and fall in the free world arena where decisions to violate the morality of a people group may be met with social shaming or market exclusion. In a voluntarist world, a voluntarist world, the true morality of a people is laid bare. We could not hide, for good or ill, behind a government gun. We would more truly be who we are, and our actions would more fully be met, would more fully meet reality. The bad actions, the ones that hinder commerce of goods and ideas, would no longer be protected by the state. Their damage would be readily seen, and the socioeconomic backlash would more freely be able to form. Abortion is one of those bad ideas that while it will never go away entirely, as no form of murder will until the end of Christ's millennial age, will never so easily flourish, so readily be funded as it is today. Murdering ourselves for profit is counterintuitive to commerce in all its free forms. This is why I continue to stand against the government-protected and government-funded big business entity that is Murder, Inc., or Planned Parenthood. Remember, behind those walls, behind that innocuous pink sign, men and women in lab coats, funded by the government and protected by the government, are reaching their metal spikes into the soft, warm bodies of pregnant women and hacking to death, poisoning, or injecting with acid fetuses that are then removed and shipped off for further medical experiments. No one on the pro-life side is advocating for murder, for violence against these murderers, but no one, including me, 
will relent one bit, will dial back one notch the truth declarations against this vile practice of murder. The pro-murder media might want to daily look at the fruit of the work they so faithfully defend. Just to make sure I do my part to remind them, let me once again, with the, blo with the bloody truth, excuse me, let, the, let me end once again with the bloody truth. Murdering unborn children is evil and must not be protected or funded by the state. Evil.